it's just a no-brainer. You go, you buy this, you slam the motor in, you hook this up, and you're doing burnouts and donuts all day. What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. That is right. In this video, we are actually going to do an unboxing, which I normally typically don't do, but it's a special occasion. I got the brand new Holly Terminator X um, ECU, and it's the basic model, not the Max, so it does not have transmission control because I have a TH400 in the Malibu. So I'm going to get this installed in the car and get it all ready for LS Fest along with a bunch of other upgrades, but I want to go through and just give you guys an unboxing so that way you can see what's in the box, what comes with it, and uh, we can open it together and I'll be excited because I'm actually pretty excited. This is a bigger milestone for a little channel in a small car and a low budget like I got, so let's check it out. Got the instruction manual. Harness. Big group of harness. Yep, don't rip the wires out of that. We have the touchscreen controller. More harness work. Set the wide band. Wide band by itself. One handed, awesome. The injector harness, the bung, the O2 sensor, another sub harness, I don't know what it is. I'm sure the instructions will tell me. And here's the ECU itself. Oh, look at that. Here it is. So yeah, the size for size reference, you know, I'm not a really big giant guy, so it's actually pretty pretty small for the most part. And then there would be the other one is a little larger and it has extra outputs for the transmission. So yeah, that is that. Yeah, let's open this guy. So this looks like a little holder. By a screw protector. Here's a look at the screen for size reference. It's three and a half. It's pretty small, but I would imagine once it's all lit up, it should be relatively easy to read. And it's all touch screen as well. So yeah, here's all the stuff you get. This is your main harness, obviously. It's like a power harness. So here it is. This is everything in a nutshell. So there it is. I'm excited to put this thing in the car. Let me tell you what part number it is. So this is actually part number 550. 903. So now we've had a quick look at what comes in the box with the Holly Terminator EFI. What I would like to do, for those of you guys that might be new or you're looking at this because you're thinking about getting it for your LS swap, honestly this kit right here is a game changer. As soon as this dropped, as soon as this came out, I looked at that and I'm like, that thing is going to revolutionize and just change the whole game on the backyard budget swap. Um, and the reason I say that, what the features on this that sold me right away on it were the fact that it does the boost control, so it'll control that. The other huge one, even if say you don't have a turbo, is this guy right here. It has a built-in wideband controller in the ECU. With this, it's all integrated, so they can all work together with the software instead of having a controller that controls one thing and having a controller that controls something else, and then your ECU is trying to run the engine. Now they all play together. It's in one package, one box, one harness. Um, it's phenomenal. And then, to top it off, the self-tuning on this um, should be more than capable to get the thing up and running. So just an average guy can buy this, plug it all in, go through the instructions, and literally drive your project. 
typically you'd have to get a harness, a computer, you'd have to go through and clean the harness up if you weren't using everything, which most guys don't. You have to get rid of bats, pay somebody to do that typically, and then once you get it flashed, then you gotta have it dyno tuned. So all those factors, plus if you wanna go do boost and you wanna monitor your air fuel and all that stuff later on, it's more of a hassle. Plus there's extra inputs and outputs on this thing so you can run extra devices and external devices and things like that. It'll control fans and, and other things. Granted, there's not as many as a Dominator, but let's be honest, for budget setup stuff and for most guys driving down the street, hell, this will do everything you need to do to run NA. And if you wanna throw a turbo nitrous on it, it's got you covered for that. And it'll do majority of what the average DIY guy is really ever probably gonna need. So I think with this kit, Holly completely revolutionized the DIY LS swap for good. Um, I think a lot of people are gonna get their feelings hurt, but I think this is gonna be where it's at, and other companies are really gonna have to step up and jump on board um, if they wanna keep up. Can't wait to install it. I'm gonna put this thing through its paces, especially at Holly LS Fest. Um, although my car is more of a drag setup, which is why I bought this, I think this would lend itself perfectly to all different types of applications. But I'm gonna use the boost features, um, I'm gonna use uh, wide band control and all that fun stuff and we're gonna get that card on the track and I guarantee this is gonna help me out and I'll bring you guys along. Consider subscribing, click the uh, little bell, follow the link, follow along when we slam this thing in my car and then uh, we take it down to 1320, hopefully here in Vegas at LS Fest. So stick around, keep it locked, I'm out.